All right, guys, we're going to get the reading going today for Pisces and your person. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to get like the current moment challenge, how they view this connection, how they view you, just all the details. If you guys need anything, check out the description box. Thank you for your guys' support, your love. Don't forget, I'm giving away two readings at 15,000 subscribers. You guys can become a VIP member down there if you want to become eligible for more readings, things of that sort. Second channels down there as well. Pisces will be on that channel. Today, guys, Keen will be a sponsor for this video. You can hit the link in the descriptions or comments and get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. So, guys, you can use this link to get you clarity and insight on your money, your career, your love, relationships, whether it be family, friends, maybe you're feeling confused, whatever it be for you. And it's a great way to not feel obligated to something for a good price. I mean, hell, $1.99, you can't beat that. All right, guys, thank you, Kane, for sponsoring today's video, and thank you guys for giving me these opportunities and blessing me and this channel. Also, guys, for the next few videos, put in the comments what you would want for the next giveaway. So we're doing the two free readings at 15,000, but I also want to do, I want to do more. You guys bless me, I bless you. That's how this works. So let me know. Do we want to do 20,000, 25,000, 30,000 subscribers? And what are you guys interested in getting? Cards, crystals, readings. Um, I don't even know. What, what would you want? Put that down below in the comments. Okay. <clears throat> so Pisces, I was picking up some energy in the beginning of this reading, but I'm not going to mention it until we get in your reading because I don't want to differentiate what comes out. But a little bit of the energy I was getting is that your person could be talking to other people and you not know. Now, for some of you, this could be bad. For some of you, this could not be bad. I get just like nice communication. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? I don't get anything too deep. I'm getting more of like a flirty energy, but nothing. I don't even want to say that. We'll see. Okay. What do we have for Pisces and their person? What do we have for Pisces and their person? What's the current moment for Pisces and the person that they're dealing with? Current moment. Interesting, Five of Pentacles is what I was getting. Someone's feeling left out. Someone could be feeling lonely. You guys could be in separation with your person, not necessarily. Somebody could also be feeling like they're not getting what they want. You know, it's interesting. I said I wasn't going to tell you that I felt like your person was talking to other people, but I'm going to tell you that I feel that way. That's what I was picking up on. But what I was picking up on in the beginning is that if you guys are in separation or if they are trying to talk to other people or if they're maybe entertaining other people, as in <clears throat> we're talking, we're dating, we're courting, but I'm not 100% sure if you're who I want. I feel like whoever they talk to, they're going to get to a point if they're already not there because I feel like they're already there that they're going to start comparing everyone to you. And I feel like that's when they're truly going to realize, wait, why am I feeling left out? Ace of Swords on the bottom. Someone needing to come in with some sort of truth, clarity, some new beginning needing to be had. What's the current challenge in this love connection with this person? Someone bringing in a stable offer. Someone choosing the direction to come in with some sort of offer. Balance something out. For each of you, it is going to be different, of course. But someone here in the current moment is feeling lack, is feeling left out, is feeling like they're not getting what they want or what they deserve. So whether this be you or your person, Pisces, you or your person is feeling missing, like they're missing out, they're lacking, they're not getting what they want. And if you guys are in separation, they're comparing everyone around them to you. Now the challenge is, again, them knowing that it's taking forever for an offer to come in from them. The challenge is someone bringing in a stable offer, choosing a path. Someone's feeling very stuck with the hanged man. Someone's needing to change their perception, the, their, the way that they view this, they view this connection. And right now it's a challenge. So how do they view this connection? How does Pisces person look at this connection? Again, look, hanged man, star underneath, they're hopeful. So they hope, they wish, and they daydream about you, Pisces, but they're still stuck. There's still an aha moment 
clarity, a truth, something that they're needing to see, a way that they're needing to view this, they need to view it differently. They can also feel like this connection stuck, that things just aren't moving forward for some reason. And the challenge or the reason that it's not moving forward is because someone's not giving in, bringing in a solid offer. Someone's not choosing a path when they know that a path needs to be chose. So they could view this connection as it being stuck, but they could also be the reason that it's stuck for some of you. How do they view you, Pisces? How do they view you? <clears throat> Ten of Cups as their emotional fulfillment, as someone who makes them very happy, as someone that they could bring home to family and friends and someone that they could build a family with. I feel like they do have a lot of love for you, but it's interesting how they view. So they view you in a great light, but they view this connection. It's the connection that they're stuck on. So for some of you, this person could have a problem with labels. This could be someone who just kind of wants to enjoy your company, enjoy your energy. I don't want to say we're dating. I don't want to say we're this. That's going to be for some of you, not necessarily. But they view you in a good light. They view you as someone who brings a lot of happiness and joy to them. And they love being around you. <clears throat> they also view you as something that's going to end up... I feel like Pisces, they know, yeah, as I was about to say this, they know that you're someone that's going to bring balance if you need to. You're willing to end a cycle or let something go if it no longer serves you. And if it's you that's feeling this lack or feeling like you're not getting what you deserve or what you want, you are going to be willing to release something or let it go because they're feeling stuck. Again, although they view you as emotional fulfillment, as a lot of happiness, I feel like they also view you as someone who's willing to bring change and transformation, close cycles. You want balance. <clears throat> and I'm getting for a lot of you, you're wanting this person to be unstuck. Like, I don't know, I'm getting like invest more, give me more, do more. Interesting. Something unexpected is going to happen between you guys here in the near future. What's going to happen in the near future? Yeah, Emperor, Nine of Cups. Someone's going to come in with some sort of wish fulfillment. So this person, again, could actually come in and give you what you want. Or they could go in the direction of giving you what you want with this future energy here. Because they know. <clears throat> yeah, I see them coming in with an offer and taking action with a lot of passion behind it. Very interesting. And that's the near future energy between you guys. Hmm. What's the near future energy between Pisces and this person? They're wanting to come out. This person could also go out for drinks or go drinking. Again, Pisces, I'm getting this energy that they compare you to everybody. So even if you guys are separated and they're out here dating, they still compare you to everybody. Yeah. And they, I feel like this person sees that you are overwhelmed, that this connection has overwhelmed you, that you have given so much. You've given so much of your emotion. Again, I feel like it's like, okay, now I want to come in and I want to give Pisces or I want to start going in the direction of giving them what they want. I know it's taken me a long time to choose a direction, to choose a path. I know I've been stuck, but I do see you as someone who I have a lot of love for. Who is going, you're demanding what you want. You want me to bring balance to this. You've been very patient for this for some of you. Very interesting. What is this person keeping to their self? I just heard that they're scared. This person could actually have a lot of money. And you not know. And they could also have a lot that they want to tell you. A lot that they have on their shoulders that they've not told you. And they're going to tell you about this in some sort of communication, but they're going to wait. There's a waiting energy. Um, but what they're hiding or keeping to their self is that they could definitely have some sort of money, some sort of stability that you don't know, that you don't see, whether this be a job. I just heard life insurance. This person could have a hefty little life insurance policy. What they're also hiding and keeping to their self, yeah, is that they're heartbroken, that there's some sort of heartbroken energy. 
that they have. I feel like it's for not offering you something. This person's seen stability long term with you if you guys are separated. If you're not separated, this person sees long term with you. And I feel like they're very confused. I feel like emotions confuse this person. Also, I feel like for some of you, again, this person could have money. If this person doesn't have money, for some of you, this person could have had money, and now they don't. All that they have to give is love, and I feel like some of them could be scared that you're going to leave them out in the cold because they can't give you what they think that you want, although I feel like they can give you their love, and I feel like that's all you want is love, family, stability. It's like you're, you, you don't want necessarily the material things. You enjoy the little things. You enjoy laughing with someone. Spending time with someone, quality time, someone helping you, someone being around, having those conversations, having someone to text, having someone to call, having someone to lay in bed at night with and cuddle. That's kind of what you're wanting, but I feel like this person sees you in such a grand light. They see you as this empress, and they see you as someone who can bring your own stability and foundation, and I feel like they want to bring so much to you that they're a little overwhelmed because I feel like they can't. Now, if that's your story, you're going to know that that's your story. Again, that's for someone who maybe used to have money or isn't financially where they used to be. And there's a fear of all I have is this. All I have is this. What does Pisces not see about this person or this connection? So for you guys that are in separation, you don't see that although this person is single, they've been working on their money. They have a lot of emotion for you. And them holding that emotion to their self is breaking their heart little by little. They're wanting to come in and offer you something. They're wanting to come in and take control. And the more that they don't choose a path, the more that they feel left out and they feel lack. And I feel like if that's your story, they constantly watch you and keep tabs on you. Now, if you guys are together, <clears throat> what you do not see about this person, I feel like, again, for some of you guys, this person could be scared because they see such a, a security and a stability with you that they're scared that you're going to come in and choose the path and give them the bad news that the balance that you want is closing this cycle. Although they see you as emotional fulfillment, they know that they've been stuck. They know that they haven't compromised and gave you what you wanted. They know that you have felt lack, whether it be you wanting children or you wanting more or you wanting them to compromise. It's like they've not been willing to give you what you want. Yeah. And there's an energy here where there's starting to be a lot of anxiety, a lot of overthinking. The pressure's on. It's just what I heard. And someone here is realizing, okay, I'm going to have to come in. I'm going to have to compromise. I'm going to have to give. Or I'm about to be as single as a Pringle. And the only thing that's going to be with me is spirit. <clears throat> what does Pisces need to focus on right now? What do you need to focus on right now? Interesting. You need to focus on the loving relationships that make you feel full, Pisces. The relationships that when you leave the room, you feel like your cup's been filled and you didn't even have to do anything. That's what they're wanting you to focus on. Because I feel like the more you focus on that, the more that this energy is going to balance out for you. I feel like this person's energy, again, is very heavy. Again, guys, it could be you feeling left out. You could be feeling very left out, lack, feeling very lonely. If not, it is your person. And I feel like you could get drained by this energy if you're not careful, which is why they're wanting you to really focus on... Having a lot of love in your environment. A lot of loving relationships around you. What else does Pisces need to focus on right now? I'm getting very overwhelmed and tired. So some of you guys could be feeling very overwhelmed and tired. Very overwhelmed and tired. Maybe with this person and this connection. That's only going to be for some of you. Tired of not getting what you want. Tired of waiting. Tired of someone getting the choice or being able to choose the path and being like, are they coming yet? Are they coming yet? And it's like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And I feel like for you guys that that resonates with this person's like, oh my God, Pisces ain't playing with me. Pisces is not playing with me. Yeah. Pisces, you need to stay very clear on where you're going. 
very clear on what you're wanting your wish fulfillment to be. And you're needing to take control and keep in that Nine of Pentacles energy. Keep focusing on yourself, nurturing yourself, growing your abundance, what you're wanting. Because this person is going to be willing to come in and um, have a conversation. And I, I feel like finally, should I say cave justice on the bottom? It's like, Pisces, you've been giving, you've been giving, you've been giving. And justice is the card of what you give, you will get back. If you are being fair, logical, and thinking of everyone involved, you will get that energy back. And I feel like this person is realizing that they haven't been that way. And there will be, again, some sort of communication coming in. Maybe communication, again, that I've been back and forth. I've not been willing to put in the work. I've not been willing to invest. I'm sorry. I should have done better. I should have been better. Some of you guys, this could be a twin flame. I just literally seen the word twin flame in my face. So, what is Pisces person thinking right this second? They're resting. They could be taking a nap. They could be sleeping. They're also trying to heal. And they're going back and fucking forth. Back and forth on having strength coming in and giving you an offer. I feel like this person, oh, I have that song now. I'm so addicted to all the things you do. I was about to say this person could be addicted to you in a sense, form, or fashion. This, could, this person could definitely be taking a nap. They're healing. They're resting and they're healing. They're, they're really going back and forth, Pisces. This person has a really hard time with changing the way that they view this connection. There's some sort of sadness and disappointment energy. For some of you, this person's terrified that you're not going to accept their offer or that this could fail down the road and how dare them invest in something. I feel like for some, yeah, I'm definitely getting that energy. This person could also be scared, again, to bring change and transformation into their environment. I want to get more on how they view this connection. Because again, they're feeling stuck with that hanged man. Why are they feeling stuck? Yeah, they're feeling stuck on taking a leap, taking a risk. For some of you, again, eight of cups on the bottom, there could definitely be, definitely be energy of you guys being separate. For some of you guys, again, you could be giving your personal ultimatum. Listen, I'll, I'm, I'm tired of compromising. You've got to do something or I'm done. But this person needs to change the way that they view whether... This person would need to change the way that they look at taking leaps, taking risks. Again, a lot of reflecting and healing. Now, in your pre-shuffle, I've seen that unhealed wounds could be blocking movement forward. But there is still that energy that they compare everyone to you. So, there's this undiable connection here. It's like you cannot deny it. There's no denying this connection. But damn it, they're trying. They're trying to not give in, not cave. But look what's on the bottom. There's a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of love here. Maybe emotion that they don't even want to deal with. But I feel like the more that they try not to deal with it, especially if your person's a drinker or they like to indulge in things that might not, that can take control from them. So like smoking, drinking, whatever it be, everyone has their own little thing. I feel like this person could definitely have some emotion come up that they didn't expect. The pressure's on. Like, I mean, the pressure is on for this person. And it's time for them to take a leap. It's time for them to, to stand up or get out. Give what you know Pisces deserves or it's time to keep it fucking pushing. Yeah, and look. They know that it's time to come in, whether it be asking you out or giving you something that you've wished for. It's time for that communication. It's time for that. This could happen after four days, four weeks, four months, not necessarily. I'm interested to see what the overall energy is for you and your person. What do we have? So, they know. It isn't for you guys that this, re this resonates with. Your person's not ignorant. They know that it's time. It's been... It's been time. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You guys could actually go on a vacation or something like that. I see a lot of passion here. But I also see that there, you need to be keeping an open mind. For some of you guys, this might not be your person. 
Now, for each of you, again, it's going to be, it's your choice if you want to invest with this person or not. But I do see an energy here, this person being scared that you're going to say, you know what? The cycle's done. I'm done. I don't, I brought balance in this part of my life. I'm happy. My happiness, you're not in it. <laughs> you know, like you, I feel like they're scared if you guys are in separation that you're called, you've called in someone new. And I feel like if you guys are in separation, they're scared that you're going to leave here very soon. And call in someone new. That you're going to go invest in something new. I do see you guys possibly going on a vacation or something together. You getting some sort of wish fulfillment. Some of you guys could end up. Don't kill the messenger. Some of you guys could end up getting pregnant with a child. And it end up being an earth sign. Yeah. Look. Express your love. And that's what I'm getting. Someone's definitely going to be expressing their love. Yes, honey. Let's get some. Um, what is this person feeling for Pisces? What is Pisces person feeling for them? What's on their mind? What are they thinking right now about Pisces? Pisces, I feel like they dream about you. Because I just seen someone laying on the couch dreaming about you. They could also fantasize about you. Finding out the truth crushed me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, I feel like this is this spot for. Blah, 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 blah. I almost said four of pentacles, and that's interesting because I was about to say, I feel like this is this five of pentacles. Somebody's been holding back or holding something to their self, and it crushed someone in this connection. Again, but now I feel like someone's wanting to come in and either compromise or have a conversation or give more, and someone is scared that they're going to get rejected. Yeah, I love you unconditionally. A lot of reflection that's taken for this person to understand how they feel. Because I feel like they were masking it with a lot of heartbreak and unhealed things. Look what's on the bottom. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So for you guys that are in separation, it's very hard for you to be separated. But again, it's harder for this person to change the way that they view taking a leap, taking a risk, involving their self in something with someone. Maybe investing more than just a one night stand or getting into a connection. Again, for each of you, it's going to be so different. But I see this person resting, reflecting, dreaming about you, healing. Yeah, this person understanding what they're feeling. And I feel like with that comes a lot of heartbreak. A lot of heartbreak. And determination, I feel, to make it work. To make, okay, I'm going to come in. I'm going to take action. This is what I'm wanting. I'm going to try to bring in that wish fulfillment. But now it's more of a, is, are you, are, are you wanting this, Pisces? Because I do see with the Knight of Pentacles that the challenge has been that it's taken a hot minute for someone to finally bring clarity, finally choose a path, choose a direction. And it was because their life wasn't together. Their shit wasn't together. Their head wasn't together. They needed to heal. They needed to heal. And I feel like them being unhealed just kept them in that back and forth energy. Yeah, and I wonder if you're happy without me. So again, if you guys are in separation, they wonder if you miss them as much as they miss you. If you guys are not in separation and you're together, I feel like they're scared that you're going to be happier without them. Because they see you as their emotional fulfillment. But they're scared that your balance is going to be ending the cycle that involves them. And I feel like they're hoping that whatever honeymoon or whatever happens on that, some of you guys could go to Rome, Italy, not necessarily. You could go somewhere where there's like a lake, a lake house, not necessarily. But I feel like you're going to get a, a lot of conversation, a lot of, I know I messed things up. I should have healed. I was very back and forth. I wasn't willing to compromise, give you what you want. I was being selfish. I wasn't willing to choose a path, choose a direction. I wasn't willing to take a leap or change the way that I viewed something. I wasn't willing to be open-minded. I wasn't willing to compromise, whatever it be. I don't know where I was going with that, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Let's get one more and we're done. Yeah, I do feel like you're going to get an apology though. An apology and I feel like they're going to, what else was I going to say? A lot of clarity, a, an apology. I feel like they're going to be like, okay, this is, this is my shot to prove to Pisces that I'm not playing. Yeah, I have that, I don't want to play no games, play no games, fuck around, give my last name. I took the easy way out. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, 
in Pisces, I feel like they do understand how much you feel crushed. Whether this be a truth, them ghosting you, leaving you, them not giving you what you want, what you deserved. And there's an energy here of you maybe, or someone here maybe feeling that they don't really know the other person. Maybe I've been fed in an illusion. But it's because someone here needs to change the way they view it something. Somebody needs to be smacked upside the head, to be honest. If you guys want to send me the address, I'll do it for you. You won't even, I won't even charge you. I won't even charge you. But I do feel like you, you stay on this person's mind. Your, your, your reactions, you standing there in the way that you look at this person. The di I feel like there's a disappointment energy here. And a love that this person maybe didn't understand. Again, I feel a little bit for you guys that if you're still with this person or if you've been with this person, they've been taking you for granted. If you're not with this person and you're in no contact, I feel like, again, they've been taking you for granted and didn't realize how much love they had for you because they were so unhealed. And there could have also been something where, okay, I'm getting overwhelmed, so this could have definitely happened. Something could have happened with you and this person, Pisces, and you just couldn't take it anymore. And you kind of, I wouldn't say ghosted, but you just never, I don't want to say didn't go back. You were just like, hey, listen, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. And y'all just never seen each other again. I feel like that crushed this person. So, like, if you worked with this person or, like, let's say you guys were in a book club together or you did something together, you volunteered. There was something here where you guys could have done the same thing. And you quit investing in that, and you could have, I feel like it was a long time coming, though. It was like you were constantly choosing this direction. Like, I'm going to find another job. I'm going to find another job. I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving. And people know, but it took a while. But I feel like once it happened, it happened, and you were gone. And I feel like that suddenness crushed this person. And with that crushedness, come in the energy of them realizing how much they loved you. Because there was a lot of heartbreak that come from that. And a lot of them understanding what they felt. And how back and forth they were when it come to you and this connection. For some of you, I do see strong energy of them maybe wanting to be single. Giving you clarity or a message of bad news and being like, hey, I don't want a commitment. I don't want a, I don't want a relationship. And what you didn't know is that they were healing. They were going back and forth on giving you something. And they shouldn't have had that conversation with you yet. What they should have told you was, listen, I'm really stuck on taking a leap with people. I don't see balance in that aspect of my life yet. There was a way that they needed to have a conversation with you, Pisces. But I feel like whatever transpired really brought out a lot, a lot in them. A lot. All right, one more. Because I just keep saying one more. One more. I hope you're happy. So this person has a lot of love for you. A lot of love for you. And I feel like they are the kind of energy where if this is a past lover or a lover now, if you see your future without them, I feel like they're willing to let you go. They just don't want to. They just don't want that to be a hard lesson. But look what's on the bottom, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you will experience more love in your present moments. And again, releasing and healing the past. That's what I've been saying this whole time. And someone here really wondering about you. Really wanting to have a conversation. Interesting. Okay, guys, we're going to leave that here for today. Have a blessed day.